Are we helping students move from learners to leaders? In a globalized world, how can we ensure that our children and communities are competitive in the global economy? Two fellows in the Aspen Global Leadership Network are using their action pledges to plant seeds of curiosity in children using science, technology, engineering, and math. When you look at a country like Uganda, there is a major shortage in STEM careers throughout the country. There is a major need for the inclusion of females addressing this challenge because it's half the population. So I'm Patricia Musoke and I'm part of the African Leadership Initiative, East Africa. So my action pledge is to motivate at least 200 teenage Ugandan girls to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math by um, 2020. Patricia founded SHINE, a week-long science camp that engages Ugandan girls with STEM subjects through a blend of teaching methods. They use music, dance, and or drama to explain a science concept. Patricia addresses the gender disparities within STEM careers by exposing Ugandan girls to the opportunities they might find in this field. One of the key challenges in Uganda for girls is that they're stuck in difficult situations. For example, abusive marriages. Just because they can't leave, they don't have the financial ability to take care of their children. So they sacrifice themselves for the sake of their children. It's something that really makes me sad. It makes me want to do something. And what can I do? I can encourage girls to try the STEM careers because it allows you that independence that you pick and choose where you end up in the world. One of the girls came up to me and said, you know, Patricia, I have really now understood the impact of science in our lives. I see it in the leaves, I see it in the classroom, I see it in the air I breathe. You hear those words and you know that something has clicked in the students. And that for me is the exciting part. In another part of the world, a fellow uses a similar approach to inspiring students in his hometown of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a very complex city. We have all sorts of difficulties here. STEM education, I think it's a neutral topic. Most uh, people can rally around it. And Jerusalem is sorely needing innovation in the area of education. My name is Ellie Wertman. I'm from Jerusalem, Israel. I'm in the Middle East Leadership Initiative Class 3. I'm going to focus on um, education in Jerusalem, specifically science, technology, and innovation, hopefully helping to inspire a new generation of, of innovators and entrepreneurs that can change the future for all of us. Ellie developed an after-school program called Pico Kids, focusing on STEM education through hands-on learning. We were extremely successful with uh, the robotics program, which created small teams of 10 to 15 children, building a robot, researching a specific problem in the world, and, and coming up with a solution. Teaching children how to create things with their hands, how to learn through experience, is something that we need to, need to bring back to the classroom. My real goal over time is to change the way children learn in school. In just a few short years, Pico Kids is already having an impact. My favorite story is a school in an underprivileged neighborhood in Jerusalem, East Tel Piot, with our first group three years ago, which came in in the 26th place out of 26 groups in the regional robotics competition. And this year, that school I had five groups participating, and they took three of the top five spots on the first day of the competition, and the other two groups took two of the top five spots. Ellie hopes this program can be a way to bring students from all backgrounds together. STEM is just a way to reach across the lines of the city on neutral grounds where everyone can rally around the opportunities of learning. If we start with children, clearly we set a better foundation for the future. From empowering girls to broaden their horizons, to finding ways to bridge old divides, fellows in the Aspen Global Leadership Network are using their action pledges to open new opportunities for the youth in their communities.